What's up guys, Lucana here. So today I'm going to show you how to install and use a plugin called MC MMO. So pretty much it's just Minecraft um, uh, Massive Multiplayer Online plugin is what it stands for. And it adds a aspect to the game where players can like level up uh, their skills. Like when you break a block, you will advance in the skill with whatever you broke the block with and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool plugin and... Um, so the first thing you want to do to install is just type in MC MMO and as you see here it is right here but I'm going to go to the main page so let's head to the dev, dev bucket page this will be linked in the description and just make sure it's updated for the latest Minecraft and the latest one for me is 1.2.5 so this is the one that I'm going to get if um, you have a later Minecraft make sure you get the right version for it and if it hasn't been released or updated to the newest Minecraft then you just have to wait till it gets updated so if it is updated and you have the right um, <clears throat> the right server version the right Minecraft version and the right plugin version just click download and then just download it to your desktop I already have it downloaded so um, I already actually already have it in my plugins folder it's right actually maybe I don't I might not. No, I don't. So let's, I'm going to download it. So just save file and let that download. Okay. So once you have it downloaded, uh, find wherever you save it. I have mine on my desktop, but if you don't, then just put it wherever you uh, you find it. So then just take it and put it in your plugins folder. So move to plugins. You can close out of that. Now just open your server. Um, just start it up. So click the starter. Um, it should generate the. Uh, um, the file that you're gonna need for it. Okay, so stop. If this was done correctly, which it was done correctly, I should have a file called MCMO, which I do right here. So now this is basically the config files that you can edit to change what you want. Flat uh, file stuff you really don't need to mess with. It's just the skills which are listed right here and the users. So you don't really need to mess with that uh, very much. If anything, you should mess with the config because um, this is what you're going to use to edit everything. So, message of the day: I like to disable this. Basically, what it does is it uh, makes it so when you join the game, it uh, it says the current version and stuff like that. Save interval: this is the interval that is used to save the player skills in game. You can have it every like 10 seconds. I do five, um, just in case the server crashes, they won't lose anything bad, I guess. Or maybe I'll make it even higher just to make it less. Uh, heavy on the CPU usage and the um, connection with the server. So yeah, obviously you want to track stats, or if you don't, then you don't. Um, power level caps, so the max power, um, the max level of a skill that you can get. Um, obviously if you set it to zero, there won't be a limit. Um, my SQL, I have this false, but if you want to make it true, basically you just make uh, an SQL host and you can put your database and stuff in here and we'll track uh, players skills uh, in a lot more detail um, I don't have this and I don't plan on using it but yeah I wouldn't use it so items um, you just wanna you don't really need to mess with any of that um, these are just the levelings for the things the abilities don't really need to mess with these really um, okay so experience so PvP you can set PvP rewards so when they kill someone uh, PvPing they will gain skills too and this is the um, skills in general so mining you get this amount of experience for mining these certain blocks same with the, the wood cutting and then the herbalism and everything like that taming you get um, that you get 250 if you tame a wolf or ocelot and then your level can go up combat same thing and now this is commands this is what <coughs> you can disable or enable so if you want players in game to be able to use these commands you set them to true um, so invite uh, you can just leave true um, I would get rid of MMO edit and uh, MC God. I don't want that one. MCMO. Um, add XP levels. PTP. I'm gonna get rid of that. 
and that's about it. So that's just what I'm gonna change. Uh, you can look up the what these uh, do specifically on the forum page in the wiki or whatever, but um, you don't really need to mess with them too much, except for the ones like PTP. I'm just dis disabling that because um, since it's a PVP server, I don't want people to uh, teleport to each other. Um, so that's why I did that. And for the other ones, obviously, I don't want anyone using God mode, and then I don't want people being able to edit MC MMO um, other than in the config file. So the HUD, um, you don't really need to mess with the HUD really, because I don't know. I don't mess with it. If you want to, you can. I'm not really into that. So yeah, I'm gonna save that now, and we mess with the config. So we changed it to what we liked. Now, if we open the treasures, um, you can change this stuff if you want but I would suggest just leaving it at default because I think everything is pretty good um, so yeah you can close that now you can start your server since you edited your config and open your minecraft so let's just log in and now connect to localhost so now we're in localhost uh, let's see if MCMO is working. MCMO, and as you see, it is working right now, and it's installed correctly. And now let's try to um, advance the skill. So just break some dirt. See if we uh, advance the skill. Hopefully, I will. Cause I'm only on level one, or at least I should be on level one. But it doesn't seem okay. Excavation skill increased by one. As you see, I excavated some uh, some dirt, and so it is working. And so slash mc mc top. I am currently the one on the first on leaderboard because I have one skill, and that's pretty much how to use the plugin. So players can now use it. You can do slash mc mmo help for in-game commands. Um, I mean no slash m cc for the commands. Uh, this is what you can use right now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think other than that, um, that's about it with the plugin. If you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comment section, and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a rating, as it helps my channel grow. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be notified when I upload my next video or tutorial or whatever I'm going to upload. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you, and bye.